guys, welcome to another video. Today Brandon and I have to get the air system buttoned up the best we can because we gotta move the dually inside because we got it started in our last video there. So we gotta get this thing moved inside so we can get the head gasket done, so we can do the ARP head studs and the plus 200 horsepower BD diesel injectors. So join us, let's get started. What I was saying is I couldn't find this tubing until just now. It was in the corner behind Scott's toolbox. Um, it was in my way for the longest time until I needed it and then it disappeared. And I'm glad I found it again. Um, using the old cutter, I actually like this better than the new one that we had because the blade is thinner and sharper so it cuts better. There are three little chips in it which is why the new ones probably have a thicker blade. But I'd rather just buy more little cutting wheels for this one. But uh, I don't think they exist anymore. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know. Um, anyway, I was using the cutoff wheel and they were not particularly fond of me doing that. So back to using this thing. They use just regular head gaskets, right? He said not Felpro, they're garbage. Yeah, Felpro's. Any of their gaskets are terrible. So this is what Brandon has going on here, guys. He's going to set these air fittings here up on the lines that are already on the truck. And yes, it crimps this thing on here. But once we're done, we'll cut a little bit behind it, add a coupler, and then make the piece that goes between the coupler and the bottom side of the toolbox itself. So we're going to do this so we get the dually moved inside. Probably like 10 years ago, I saw they were developing a G-suit based on dragonfly gel, like what's inside of them. And it was way better than a con uh, conventional pressurized one, and I haven't seen anything about it since. So now that we got the air, the truck laying on the ground, aired up, we're gonna go ahead and get it moved around and pointed straight towards the garage now. Guys, that ends another day at Cougar House Garage. Today we worked on a bunch of stuff. We started with making some adapter fittings on the airlines that were on Project Sacrilege so we could get them aired up so that way, you know, we have the valves all undone and we need to air it up so we can turn it around and pull the cab so we can go ahead and pull the head and do the head gasket just as a 
bulletproofing part of the motor, not that it's bad or anything, we just want to replace it when we do the ARP head studs. Then we're doing plus 200 horsepower BD diesel injectors on it. So, and as well, yesterday I picked up the turbo and the second gen manifold and the third gen manifold, and we're using a common rail turbo to feed our larger BD diesel turbo for our, for our compound turbo kit. So, we'll be able to test fit those tomorrow, but we got them picked up and ready to do that. And so what we're going to do first before we pull the cab and pull the, the head, we're going to pull off the 6.7 manifold and 6.7 turbo and test fit these and figure out where we want the turbo to go first. Then we'll go ahead and proceed to pulling the cab and pulling the head and, and getting started. But then as well, we worked on a little bit of the bent lines for the valves themselves of how we're going to have the valves sit in there now and with those lines that go from the valve down to the bulkhead fittings. So we got started on two of those. We'll continue to work on those tomorrow so we can have that part finished up before we move on the test fitting of the turbo and pull on the cab. But we got that far. We got the dually turned around and we got it in the garage now. So tomorrow morning we're ready to go ahead and test fit the turbos make those airline parts, and then go ahead and pull our cab. So join us then, guys. It's going to be pretty fun. Please leave a comment. Tell us what you think about today and what we did. It's pretty fun to talk to you guys in the comment box. Please like and subscribe. And if you guys want to see more of Cougar House Garage, check us out at cougarhousegarage.com. Check us out at Facebook forward slash Cougar House Garage. And we are Cougar House Garage on Instagram. Follow us, guys. We'll catch you in the next episode.